Good morning. Well, we had an email come in from Finder, and she suggested that we do a video on the unique challenge feature, as she put it, and what a great idea. We've been kind of thinking about what are we going to do for a debut when all of our video stuff arrives and we can really do a really nice, um, you know, video with visuals beyond a screenshot. And, well, there's our answer. So thank you, Finder. What a great idea. That's going to be our first, uh, our first real video on this channel. Um, so in light of the challenges, Fudo sent me a really cool message on Discord asking me to maybe pay some attention to this challenge he liked. It was a, I think it was um, a romantic paragraph challenge that a user posted. And I thought, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go to that, but I also want to just kind of scan the challenges. And I did that yesterday and I came upon one challenge that was just really, I don't know, it was just, it just struck me. And I'm going to get into that challenge today. Now, as far as the challenges go, what a cool thing. You can, um, any writer on the app, any, any registered user can create a challenge, which I thought was, was pretty cool. And that might change with, um, all the new stuff we're doing with the app. Lots of new things like I keep hinting toward or, you know, talking about, but, um, the, as it stands now, anybody can create a challenge. You can give stuff away. You can pay your winner, all kinds of, um, there's so much, so much going on within those. And when I was looking at them, I found that one, I'm going to get to that in a second, but first let's look at finder, the, the brain behind the idea. Now finder has been such a, uh, constant and strong presence in the app for a long time. And I, um, really need to start uh, reading more of my... I've been on this kick lately with pros where I've been reading all the new authors every morning, and um, then I'll go back to the, to the ones that I follow personally. And uh, I just... Uh, I love the, the one-offs like this. That's what I call them. Like the, the, uh, the big hits for me from the writers, the, the short poems. Um... Don't get me wrong, I like to disappear into a long, long piece of fiction, but this is great. I like this, uh, this is, this last stanza got me uh, yesterday when it said, uh, I prefer to disappear, receding entirely from any possibility of suffering harm. I just love this, uh, this whole thing. Um, yeah, she's cool. Okay, let's see, uh, now the challenge I went to last night. Let's go to our challenges. I gotta have them pulled up here. So there's a paragraph, 21 entries. There's a new one. I'm going to go to that after this video. There's our challenge of the month. Need some more people in that. Okay, let's see. Here it is. Fibonacci poetry. Now I just, uh, I love this. Let's go to here. I'm sure you all know what the Fibonacci sequence is, so... Let's see, uh, okay, uh, okay, yeah, it's so good. Here we go. Marcel Nault Jr. You know, I always talk about how I'm always envious of, uh, I'm always envious of people with cool first names, right? Uh, like, what a cool, what a cool, what a cool name, period. Marcel Nault, right? I mean, my name is so, like, vanilla and boring. It's like a, a vocal utterance. You know, it's primal. Jeff. And then with that movie that came out, My Name is Jeff, that whole thing opened up a whole level of comedy in my life, which is great because, you know, making fun of myself is one of my favorite things and a very crucial uh, coping mechanism. Okay, let's see. Uh, Marcel Nolte, Drowning in the Abyss. Yeah. And this is like, almost like a haiku uh, on meth for me. Not that I would know, but you know what I mean. Like, you kind of count. You count, well, you certainly count. You certainly count. It's Fibonacci sequence, but it's uh, deep below the sea, far beyond redemption. I search for an answer as I seemingly drown further in the abyss. Marcel Nault, Jr. That's so cool. 
What are you all about, Marcel? Yeah. Oh, I love this, this portal. I like him. Cool guy. I dig the goat. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is great. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, with that challenge, um, the creator of that challenge is Ushabear. And Ushabear is somebody I followed for a while. And so I'm not sure. I went to her link tree. Let's just go to it now. Let's go let's open the link in new tab. Um, so I don't know if it's Karen or Corinne Venables. I don't want to butcher your name. So I will just call you Ushabear. And let's see. I like all this. This is cool. This is really cool. What's this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she either... It's either my computer or she moved on from this place. That's... Let's see. Uh, oh, I love this. This is so cool. There she is again. Let's see. So... Been riding off and on all my life. Now I'm living the life. Nice. Yes, you are, Usha Bear. I went through there, through her profile yesterday, and I, uh, I, uh, really, and it's, and it's funny, I forget sometimes that I'm browsing as the app itself as pros, because on my own profile, I'll spend hours reading people, and sometimes I forget to switch accounts, and so, well, let me see, it doesn't matter. I'd rather have the app give them a heart than me, because the app has way more followers. Okay, let's see, uh... Side note, I tried this microphone, by the way. I think this is the KSM32, and it's a nice mic. If anybody out there wants a budget microphone, um, <laughs> that's funny. I'm just like, my mind's going. I, um, yeah, that's a good mic, though. I got rid of it, but I had it for a while. Um, it's weird how I looked at microphones a couple of days ago just for some eye candy, right, to decompress from working all day, and uh, now it's in my feed. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, Dreamcatcher, uh, this is so cool. I, I love her writing. It's very, uh, I guess I can, I can kind of taste her words, right? Like when I have a mild case of, uh, synesthesia, you know? And so when the senses cross and, and when reading Usha Bear, right? And, uh, reading Venables, when you read this writer, um, for me, it's like the, there's such a cool, like, seasonal feel. Like, I, it's like cinnamon, orange, but warm, you know? It's a, a very, um, for me, it's a very pleasant sense when I read her. Let's see. Yeah, these are all, I love all these, all our stuff. I talked about this word before, um, gloaming. I've never once used that word, and uh, I should. But I just, I just never have. But just the, the way she writes, I mean, look at this. Chrysanthemum's yellow eyes marching a row up to home, up to home's door softly. And the thing is, she's one of the only writers on here that can rhyme that I really, not that I don't like rhyming poetry. I mean, I grew up on Robert Frost. And, uh, but I just love the, uh, just very few poets in my mind can pull it off. But some on this app actually pull actually pull it off, and they do a damn good job. But yeah, this is so great. See, look, ah, look, look. Love the use of color. Boom. Let's see. Okay, so nailed it. Great use of color. And uh, look at this. My neck arched back in rainbow mist. The top obscured in prism sparkle. Now, one of my favorite things about words and why I'm such a freak when I've written compulsively most of my life and uh the um you know one of my one of my most recent novels it was almost all just discipline of sound and um on accident, not like I was consciously doing it, but I had a book coming out, and I was like, you know I had this uh 
you kind of feel it building up and something starts to like materialize then kind of follow you then it starts to haunt you and then you you get it out and so in prism sparkle i love that because just the consecution right the prism sparkle the sp ps sp um you know is then without this just these two wouldn't work right because it's it's five one two three four five in prism sparkle it's amazing it's that i see stuff like this in every in a lot of things but in this poem it's really nice the the beats of this the beats of her writing the beats of her writing are amazing so i wanted to give her a little bit of recognition today because i just i just love it and it's such a and it's a thing about her poetry too is pervasive it's pervasive it's like um you know uh anybody can read it and if you've been writing a long time or reading a long time you can appreciate it no matter what you've read before and a lot of writers on here are like that led levy another one um you know so many of them our love the writer on here i talked about in one of my other videos but the um the idea though for her is just that she is just almost like she just weaves gold you know when she puts out her, her pieces so Definitely give her a follow if you're on the app. And if you're not in the app, get on the app and give her a follow. And let's see, if if you're um new to pros or you're thinking about going on pros, go ahead and go on pros and uh, join up, write, you know, and if you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, or give us, I should say. Uh, it's it really helps us get out there. And if you want to do a challenge, here it is. This is so cool. Let's see. What happened to relative ads? All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. So many of these. Nice. That should, that should, I'm surprised that doesn't have any entries. That's, that should be a, hmm. I would enter that. Okay, let's see. Anyway. So, that's going to wrap this video up today. I just wanted to do something that was, um, I don't know. I just want to do something short, if this was short, and uh, just to say good morning. And uh, kind of kind of do something that was just, I don't know, something, just something. I feel like talking to you guys. And uh, also to let you know that as of we have a few things in place now and we're going to do our best to get this um a few things accomplished this month and by a few things i mean some big things and i mean bringing back a bunch of things and also um reigniting a bunch of features that were not there before or were there but fell by the wayside just due to the uh the attrition of of running a business right and um so all of this stuff is coming out very shortly. And so in the meantime, we're kind of like uh, just backloading, you know, and but I just want to say thanks for being here today. If you have remained and thank you for being on the app. And if you know any writers who would like to join pros, yeah, send them our way. Um, and always give the app itself a follow the profile. And if you want to reach out, you can reach out at um well the pros channel at you the pros channel at gmail is a good one to to reach me personally and because i work directly for the app i can um i can well i can probably just go right to the source which is you know one text away from me so let's see um what else that's about it so hope you're monday or tuesday whatever day today is is good i was um a bit uh out of it yesterday i was going to do a video but i had read an audiobook all weekend and uh ooh, my voice was fried still is you can hear it hang on excuse moi yeah it sounds like i swallowed a a glass of uh broken glass so anyway 
thanks for being here. And uh, we will, I will see you guys or talk to you guys very soon. I hope your Tuesday is good. And um, yeah, have a good one today. Check out Usha Bear. Check out Finder. And check out our challenges. Maybe enter one. Maybe enter our one this month. Make a hundred bucks. Or just, uh, yeah, any of these. So, anyway, I digress. Because I haven't had enough coffee. I'm going to go solve that right now. But, have a good day. I'll talk to you guys soon.